Good evening friends. My today's topic for lecture it is Indo-Japan relations. India and Japan has a long history, deep rooted in spiritual affinity and strong cultural and civilizational ties. India and Japan also share the important values of democracy, pluralism, open society and peace and tranquility throughout the world. Besides this, both the countries are also the oldest and the largest democracies of the world. In the year of 1952, both countries marked the diplomat both the countries formed the diplomatic relations and last year in 2022 both countries celebrated the 70 years of diplomatic relations which was followed by many formal gatherings between both the nations throughout the year in the year of 1957 the japanese prime minister did a maiden visit to india which was followed by the visit of india's india's prime minister jawaharlal nehru as a return visit in the year of 1991 During the Foreign Currency Reserve Crisis in India, our then Finance Minister Manmohan Singh visited Japan, on which Japan readily agreed to provide the financial assistance in India to alleviate the foreign currency reserve crisis. However, in 1998, the relation between both the countries had been a little low due to the test of Pokhran II. Let us talk. Let us now talk about the military relation between both the nations. India and Japan has a strong and deep military relations. Both countries are active member of Quad. and both agree on the free f free indo pacific region free indo pacific pact both countries readily do and actively both countries actively take part in joint sea patrols and naval exercises like malabar besides this the armies of both the countries also take part in exercise dharma guardian regularly india and japan has also recently announced that they will be doing the first maiden air combat exercise exercise veer guardian in 2023 both the countries have also signed an agreement the acsa agreement regarded as known as the acquisition and cross servicing agreement which is intended to provide to provide the logistical support to each other countries defense india and japan also do formal meetings in the format of 2 plus 2 like india and america let us not about the cultural relations cultural cultural relation between both the nations Many Indian students and Japanese students actively take part in each other, each other education. Many IT professionals in India and in Japan are also working regularly in many Indian and Japanese firms. Let us now talk about the religious relation between both the nations. India and Japan has re- re- religious re- relations on the topic of Buddhism, as it is known as the Buddhism has been spread into the Japan through India. Let us not talk about the economic relation between both the nations india and japan has a very high economic relations japan is the sixth largest fdi provider to india and the major fdi inflows from japan are in the automobile sector communication sector and the electronics and engineering sector india and japan also trade on many on many commodities like the petroleum products automobile equipment the communication sets the electronics and the precious and gems the precious stone and gems in the year 2018 19 both the countries have surpassed the trade of 17 billion dollars besides this japan is also helping india on many projects like japan has provided assistance in the delhi metro project japan is also helping india in forming the first ever bullet train the mumbai ahmedabad bullet train high speed rail project Japan is also helping India in providing the western dedicated freight corridor and also the Chennai Chennai Bengaluru industrial corridor. So in this way India and Japan has a cordial relation on a lot of topics and since history. So at the end I would say let the Japan and India relation prevails.